So, it says here that Jared Leto will return as the Joker. <laughs> You know, I always thought Jared Leto never got a fair shake in that first Suicide Squad movie. And I wanted to see everything that he could do. Even though that version didn't really work for me, I saw for potential in it. Especially with that... Ah, 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 laugh. Um... His voice is similar to Heath's, but also different. Um, he's weird. He creeps me out. He, he does creep me out as the Joker. I think that he has potential. And he talked about how so much of his stuff got cut out. I would like to see exactly what he can do. So he says here... Jared Leto will play the Joker again in director's cut of Zack Snyder's Justice League. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Jared Leto played the role in 2016's Suicide Squad. But plans for his appearance in Justice League, filmed in 2016, didn't pan out. Snyder's new cut of Justice League, which was originally released in 2017, will be available exclusively on HBO Max sometime in 2021. The director is reshooting parts of the movie with a reported budget of 70 for the new, reportedly, four-hour version of the film. Snyder stepped down from the production on Justice League in 2016 due to a family tragedy, and Warner Bros. selected writer-director jo Joss Whedon to complete the film. Now, reading this, I never knew he even wanted him to be a part of it. Maybe he's adding... Maybe this is his big, you know what I mean? Like, look, I'm going to do this big. I'm going to let everybody know what I can do. I'm throwing everything in this soup. You know what I'm saying? Jared Leto was, was a supporting character in David Ayer's Suicide Squad, in which he appeared in only a few scenes. The Justice League's reshoots are currently underway, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Ben Affleck, uh, Ray Fisher... And Amber Heard are all part of new production. It's unclear how much Jetto, how much Leto will appear in the reworked film, which is officially titled Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, nor are there any indications that other characters from Suicide Squad, like Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, will appear. The Hollywood Reporter also said studio executives John Berg and Jeff Johns will not receive producer credits on the new film. In September, Cyborg actor Ray Fisher suggested Whedon created a toxic on-set environment during Justice League's original production. Nothing that Whedon, not noting that Whedon's behavior was enabled by John Berg and Johns, a Hollywood Reporter source, said the movie is unconnected to comments made by Fisher. Mm -hmm. That the move is unconnected. Well, there you go, Magnesites. There you go. I mean, <laughs> um, I'm actually I'm very intrigued to see what he does with him. I am. I'm intrigued to see what he does with him. Um, maybe we'll get some backstory on who he actually is. Is he Robin? Is he not? Um, doesn't matter to me whether he is or isn't, but a lot of people think he is. Um, I think it should be interesting. I'm rooting for you, Zach. I want you, man. I want this to blow up for you big. I do. I'm really bad. I want it to blow up for you. So post the comments down below. Let me know what you all think. And if you enjoyed my video on this news, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. <laughs>